This is the final prom look in my series. I know, I know it's time to come in, but you know what? Let's just get started, guys. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, prime my eyes, of course. I'm using the same hard candy primer and applying that all over my lid and setting it with my little matte powder as per usual. Now that we are all set, I'm going to go in with my Naked 2 palette and use the matte shade in the color Tease and apply that all over my crease area. This will serve as a transition color. It's more of a purple mommy shade, so it sets a really good undertone for the uh, shadows that we do apply later on. So that's all I'm doing. I'm just buffing that in all over my crease. we are done that we're going to be going in with this NYX ultimate color eyeshadow palette all the info will be in the bottom bar below I'm going to take this pink shade at first and I'm going to be applying this all over my uh, crease again and I'm using a smaller denser brush this way the color is focused on uh, the specific target area that I am focusing on so I'm just slowly building the uh, pink and into the uh, crease mixture of the uh, pink on top and the purple and slowly building it like I said with the pinks and purple in this look you got to go in smaller portions and build it because if you go into heavy hearted it'll end up looking like a mess so you want to just take your time and apply the eyeshadow in layers Be taking a little break from the eyes well the crease I should say and just pop in some glitter glue I'm using the Too Faced glitter glue it's the best glitter glue of all I'm just pretty much priming my eyes for that just putting it all over the lids just you know taking my fingers make sure it's making sure it's tacky and for glitter we're actually going to be using two different matte colors it's this pink and this purple and I actually mixed it on um like uh, an empty eyelash and then I'm just gonna pick it up and pat it all over my eyes just like I did with the last video you want to pat and not rub because then the um, glitter will all fall over your face so that's what you want to do go in slow motions and do that Now that we have both our glitters on our eyeballs, we are now going to go back into the same uh, NYX palette and take that same purple with and, and the pink, mix it in that same brush we were using in the crease and pretty much pack it on and make it um, more vibrant and more uh, showing. And this way it looks like it's all cohesive and it doesn't look like there's any um, harsh lines or anything like that. And boom, there is my falsies, the Kiss 01 lashes, of course, and I applied my uh, eyeliner offline. I will link those videos in the cards below. And oh, so now that we um, have finished applying the glitter, you still see a little bit of glitter on my face. So a really neat trick that um, I knew we had to do was just take a little bit of tape, fold it like the inside out so that the sticky side is out like that. You want to roll it onto your fingers and then just pretty much pat and then there you go all the glitter comes out it's a really neat trick guys it's a really neat trick to clean your face like that with no mess and now to go with your face the first thing we're going to do is prime i'm going to be taking this nyx primer water and just focusing on uh the cheeks and the head and the forehead and then for the rest of my face once that is dry i'm going to be taking i'm trying this out it's like a, a little sample size of the uh, benefit pore professional and i just apply that pretty much to the inner portions of my face where i feel like i have a lot more pores and you know i sweat more and and whatnot so I just applied it to the inner portions of my face and then blended that into my skin I really liked how it felt it was very soft and it just you know it blended in very nicely with my skin 
<laughs> and what we're gonna do is I already applied my foundation offline and you guys know it's the L'Oreal Pro Glow and they it's easy it with my concealer which is the born this way and I just applied a little bit of cream contour and again I'll link all those videos down below as well as in the cards so now to set I am just going to be using the Rimmel matte stay powder in sandstorm of course and I'm just gonna be patting that into uh, the under eye area especially because I find that's where it increases of course the most so, yeah, so I'm just gonna be applying it there and to the inner portions of my face rest of my face as per usual what do I use guys the studio fix powder and I'm just going to be patting that very uh lightly like a light coat all over my face this is I do this obviously to set my foundation but also it really makes the uh contouring powders apply on very immensely as well so that's all I'm doing just you know the usual set my face with the powder Contouring, I'm going to, go, going to go in with my Kat Von D contour palette. I'm going to take the uh, middle and the last shade and just apply the contour in the usual spots, which is cheeks, forehead, nose, and chin. And I'm going to leave London all that out. Wow, contour makes a big difference. And now for the lower lash line, I'm going to take that pink and that purple, the same pink and purple we've been using for a crease, and just applying that uh, ever so slightly under the eyes. And I'm just going to be blending that out. And for my brown bone, I am just applying the same Rumble Matte Powder. I like to use the highlighter as you'll see later as my highlight so what I first like to do is make a matte base and then that will pop now for the highlighting portion I'm going in with an oldie but a goodie and I'm using the Jaclyn Hill uh, palette in both champagne pop and presco pop presecto pop sorry wow I haven't used it in a while I forgot how to say it mm -hmm. so yeah I'm just applying that on the usual highlight spots my nose the tip of my uh, you know brows right there and that's how I use the highlight and for lips I am going in with a mixture I'm first using this Revlon um, lip pencil and I believe I want to call it uh, celestial no that's not what it is but I will, everything will be in the bottom bar below so that is the lip color I first chose to use but I felt like it was too corally at first so then I went in with the um, to play with the um, uh, crease I, pl I put in max heroin and just to give it more of a pearlier vibe uh, just to again bring out those colors in the crease so it looks like much more of a monochromatic look and then I felt like it was a little too purple because it's a very pigmented lipstick so then I, then I went in with the uh, lip paint from the birthday package from Tarte and then I used that and then I just sprayed my face with the NYX powder and that is the finished look guys I really hope you guys enjoyed it's the end of my series guys I know but yes I make new videos every Monday and Thursday guys don't forget to hit the thumbs up button below and I'll see you guys in my next video bye